Hello everyone! How's everyone doing? And hello to Holy! Welcome in! Hello! How are you doing? I do ask you, Holy. How are you doing? I'm alright. Things are going. Life is moving on. However, how are you? I'm okay. A little hyper and a little nervous, as usual. Are we really surprised, right? No, <laughs> we're not surprised. He just came out of that hole. There's like a little box in there where he can lay in. And he was like, wait, who? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Mr. Nightdream. Thank you so much. Hey, 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 raid. We're just about to give Sticker a treat because Froglin asked me to. And also I've missed a lot of chat. So, hi. <laughs> Yo, Knights, did you end up... Uh, did you end up killing the uh, Abyss Watchers or uh, or not? I saw you were uh, you were trying to do that at the end. Oh, that's a lot of night raid. Hello. Hey, hello. nice. Also, another treat from Momo. I saw. There we go, and I'm getting eaten. Oh boy. Oh, oh no! Don't eat me. Hi. You gonna lay down with me? Can you lay down? Hello, hello. Yes, how is everyone? Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so a much. Lot of, a lot of things happened between how am I, how are you, yes. and how is everyone, which was the, the third question in the list. I saw um, Here, first this one. Apple. It's a cuddle from the taco. I'm trying to do all the redeems because they are piling up as well. Yeah. Hi. And a short cuddle also for the chibi. Mm -hmm. Cuddle. Do you still have your short, Holly? Yes, I okay. do. Hold on. <laughs> the one thing that I couldn't pack yet. <laughs> My fault. Short. Sure. Short. Sure. I mean, I'm hoping your nuggy is still there, though. Oh, yeah, my nuggy is also still here, yeah. It's a redeem, it has to be. Um, yeah. <laughs> and drag seven into screen. Oh, I like that one. What, 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 what? Oh, seven isn't here. Sadly, Sa seven has, uh, has gone out for some, uh, Driving with his RC cars. Yes. I'm not sure when he's going to come home, but when he does, you you will see him pass behind me. Yes. How am I? I'm I'm good. Thanks. Um. Well, good. I mean, I'm okay. Hyper, busy, nervous, as usual. Haven't uh, done this forever. I did not do a sippy. Did we have a sippy? We had a sippy from Cherry. Sippy. Yes, we do. I, I absolutely know, Knight. I absolutely know. The Abyss Watchers is fucking pain. Cherry says I'd be better if a certain frog Good, acknowledged my existence. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was the first one to say hola, Cherry. Then she's not ignored. She just thinks she is. So... <laughs> Yes, a sippy of monster. <laughs> it's uh, actually my my trademark, I think, by now. <laughs> I always say yeah. monster. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Be nice. No nails. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Cherry is a little shit. Correct. She's also a lovely Correct. little shit, so it's fine. <laughs> monster energy speaking sponsor. Of, speaking of trademarks. <laughs> Speaking of trademarks, your trademark drink is uh, is Monster and Cherry's trademark is being a little shit. Yeah, and something about alcohol. Maybe. Tiny A from Vixi and a cuddle. Cuddle. Also, it looks like Vixi cuddling with a taco in the icon. I like yeah. it. Especially the cuddle. The V hugging emote is good. Yeah. It's a good I one. 
don't like entering a fight with half HP and poison because enemies can hit through fog. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, Abyss Watch is just a fun fight. Especially the second stage of the fight. I mean, I don't know. I, I would say, like, right into Coca-Cola instead. instead. I mean, Jumbo is never going to sponsor anyone, but Coca-Cola might. Yeah, I kind of expected <laughs> that from your journey. <laughs> Adorable. Oh, that's a cute one. Momo! <laughs> Heck, thank you so much for the sum! Yay! Hey! Thank you so nice. much, Apple! <coughs> nice! I like... It's so busy today! <laughs> yeah. I mean, I may have poked a few people to be there, though. It's like, hey, you can... Good. <laughs> Good. I don't think I'll ever have to poke Dragon Wolf or Apple, though. <laughs> I mean, you better not have to poke me. I mean, I was a little bit afraid for a second there before you sent your peep poop to me. I was like, am yeah, I, I gonna know. have to poke him today? But I saw I you come online. This much. I saw you come online. I was like, mm, it's gonna be fine. If every more job were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. Yes, I very much agree with that. <laughs> Thanks to Steven Universe slash um, Greg, right? Jerry, it was Greg that said it first. Poop me. Just poop me instead. Also, Dragon Wolf, can you do the night bot thing, maybe, please? I'll give you another brownie. Streamers <laughs> <laughs> have animated emotes. Yes, yes. I think so. Yes. It's a new thing, I believe. Correct. I should do the night bot quite thing. Thank you. Master? Uh, yeah, you can do animated emotes now. <laughs> Cherry's like, let me just make him do more work on my channel this time. Oh, no, that's not Dragon Wolf that has to do things. You need to upload animated emotes for yeah, that. Yeah, but um, Dragon Wolf kind of helps her with her channel for all the things she doesn't understand. I mean, fair enough. Whenever I don't understand anything, I'll ask Dragon Wolf to, or you, or Frog, or all three. See who answers first. <laughs> you know what the easiest thing is if you don't understand something? Google. Read the descriptions. <laughs> I mean, it's useful to ask people. I mean, if I have a math question, I'll go to you or Seven anyway, because so you guys are quick, quicker than the most calculators. <laughs> Lazy holy, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> there you go, Cherry, same. Oh. Although, to be fair, it was Dragon Wolf asking me if Wulu um, evolved at some point, being like, mm, Google is your friend. Let me Google that for you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, I outed you again, Dragon Wolf. Oops. <laughs> I am not Google, no. I do know very well how to work Google, though. <laughs> I don't own Google, then I would be rich. I would love that, thanks. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> You really don't want to own Google. No, but also it gives you a lot of money though. A lot of hate, a lot of money, and a lot of love. So it's like everything. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank hey, you. Hey, Ram with the tier one sub. Thank you so much. I love it. Just colonize Google and then it's yours. Is that how it yeah. works? I've used it enough. Um, does that mean I colonized it already? Wow. Uh, no. Dang it. But I'm on there every day. Like, dude. Yes, Keith. <laughs> what do you think a web developer nice. does on Google? Uh, that's fair. Okay. You can own it. I'll use it. <laughs> I don't want to own it. Then let me own it. 
not that hard. Just, it's fine. I think they make decent decisions. Mm -hmm. The guy's in charge right now. Still so. waiting for the specialist from PayPal to get back to me. Isn't that a hoax, Cherry? Be careful who you give information to, please. Holy shit, Let's make it I agree. Better Google. I'm sure. Oh, you can. I am the Dark Souls man. Hit me up. <laughs> give me your questions. Here I was about to start my street. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually very curious. Usually you're very good at explaining Dark Souls stuff. Yeah. On their official PayPal sports Twitter, I would still not give any info out. If they can help you with stuff without giving info, then fair. But don't give them your email address. Don't give you them any password or security code or anything. Well, passwords and security codes they should never ask for. No, but I mean, like just just to be sure, like don't give them anything. I'm very, very careful. Let's just say that. I don't want my money stolen. Yeah, if they have your email, they can at least contact you yeah. <laughs> privately <clears throat> instead of Twitter. Just be safe. That's all I ask. I think you're going to get a wall of text from Mr. Knight. Yeah, I expect so. I mean, shouldn't we always expect that from Knight? Yes. He's very good at writing. He should write a book. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he has already written a story. Yeah. Very curious about it. It's for the game. Just watch it be completely unfinished and just the, the subtext, good luck. Back in his box. He's like, <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Shrunk. He's, cute. He's also sticking out just his head. <laughs> it's adorable. Um, level twenty-seven isn't all that high. Uh, Night Gear is fine. Irithyll Sword is really good, although I don't know if the Abyss Watchers can be frostbitten. Um, then again, the Aerithal Sword is still good. Level 27 is just a little low. I'd say find some upgrade materials for the sword. Uh, oh, they seem to be able to. Okay, cool. Um, find upgrade material for the sword and level up some, some strength, maybe some health, and maybe some uh, stamina. So you can either hit more, roll more, Take more damage and deal more damage. Oh yeah, don't upgrade your armor, just upgrade your weapon. Who cares about Since health? <laughs> yeah, just just dodge more forehead. Um, <laughs> roll, bitch, <you> roll. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Meanwhile, I'm just gonna uh, fix my story thing. Oh, oh, hey, it works. But I didn't awesome. fix anything. Never mind. Continue. Turn on, Turn on God mode for that. I mean, just look at Nexus. Probably there's a mod from for God mode. Seventeen strength, eighteen. Or uh, endurance is seventeen. Strength is eighteen at the moment. I up strength and I would up endurance mostly. The more you can roll. <laughs> yes, backstab and parry and die while trying to parry. To parry what, the world. What I'm getting from this uh, exchange is that Knight really wants you to come by when he's doing his Star Souls stream. It's just to ask all these, these questions. Also, yeah. Knight, we were watching, I promise. <laughs> we were I watching. watched the end. Yeah. I watched uh, a little bit of the end. I, uh, I saw you work on the Abyss Watchers, and I saw you get pretty far, <clears throat> which... Die. 
the problem was that she ran out of potions or estes at the second stage. The second stage is only harder, but less troublesome. Is anyone good at Dark Souls Fairy? <laughs> uh, is that a skill you can learn? Can you pay or is for that? Just, to is, get that? Is that just natural? Is that a pay to win thing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Most of my flasks in the first phase. Which was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fair. You just Shall run we? out of life stuff. Shall life we? juice. Yes. Sh sh we shall. Sh sh shall we? Because I think there's a few people that are uh, very much more interested today to hear some of our story. Because, um, well, holy, where did we leave off? We left off. With Amarilla and Change and Gaius back on the run, they took Emmet in tow and moved back to Lunera and their cart. Amarilla, who couldn't walk, was carried by the feet. When they reached the cart, Amarilla turned back, but still was still in chains, so she traveled along on the cart. When they finally found the city of Emerald, they were greeted by a lackey of Duchess Fenetrix. Theoden was revealed to be a prince and the uh, that earned them an audience with the Duchess. She helped Amarella get out of her uh, get out of her chains and provided an escort to the royal library to meet with Ayel. They had a short conversation with her before Ayel revealed, revealed that Amarella is supposed to be able to fly. Oh. Yeah, we kind of left off on a on a little bit of cliffhanger, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Just a tiny one. Also. I saw that Knight said, oh yeah, one more thing, and I'm pretty sure he had to instantly mute as he did that. <laughs> <laughs> he's not here yet. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Knight. <laughs> I will do a little hard for Knight. It's, it's a little crooked because I'm very bad at that one, but I like it so much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna type to him, just let him ask his question in your DM. I'm sure you can answer his questions, right? Oh, yeah. Just tell him, like, hey, send me anything in DM, and you guys can have a conversation about Dark Souls there. Blaze, yes. There you go. Shall we hop into the story? Are we ready? Are we ready, guys? Is everybody hyped enough? I think we're going to get a bunch of yeses, and I think Apple might be the first. Are you ready, kids? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, always. I, I really thought it was going to be Apple. <laughs> there you go. Ready. <laughs> Ready, ready, ready. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think I think they're ready. <laughs> I, I think so too. Oh, there's Momo as well. I think everybody is uh I think so too. So let's go. Everyone is here. Yes. What? What what do you mean? Amarilla was fiddling with her dress. Amarilla. Surfer. Do, do you know what she is? Surfer spoke up, speaking for the first time since they entered the city. She's a shapeshifter, of course. She knows that. I all looked at Amarilla with bright, sincere eyes. I'm, I'm not. I, I thought I was a werewolf. She plucked at her dress even more. Stop ruining your clothing. You'll tear the fabric. A shapeshifter. They are very rare. Are you sure? I have known since I met her. I also eyes drifted to Amarilla. If I had known, you didn't know. Amarilla could see her thoughts run off, just as her voice trailed away. I guess I won't be needing the books. I wanted to know what you were, and now we know. I don't know what a shapeshifter does. They can become anything. They are so rare. I've never met one. 
most times shapeshifters produce um, regular offspring. Sometimes it skips a few generations. Amarilla's grandmother, a dear woman, she was a shapeshifter. You, you knew my family? Your parents hated me because I'm different. But I was good friends with your grandparents. She looked at Amarilla with a friendly smile. We're getting off topic. How can it be that she didn't know? She thought she was a werewolf, only ever changing into a wolf. I really thought you knew. Uh, Ayel reached out to touch Amarilla's hand. I suppose since you didn't uh, know about yourself at all, your mind focused completely on your first change. I'm assuming your first ever change was a wolf, too. Amarilla nodded slightly. I wish I could have stayed for you. I, I knew why you had to leave. This was your home. You, you were needed here. You've grown so much, Ayel said, her tone slightly more affectionate. Maka gently put her hand on Amarilla's back. I know you guys haven't seen each other for a while, but we've had a long journey, and most of us are very tired. Maybe we can rest up somewhere. The city is safe, right? Maka's last question Yeah, was the city is definitely safe. Directed towards Tina. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> yes, the city is definitely safe. Maka's right. We're professionals, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty and clearly tired, not completely healed from their last attack. Everyone was exhausted. If you guys give me a little time, I'll see if we can use my family's house. Give me half an hour. Feel free to browse the library. I all let go of Amarilla's hand and got up. Amarilla had no interest in the books, but most of the others did get up to look around. Can I get you another drink? Sharon asked. She startled Amarilla. She had, uh, hadn't seen the girl coming. Oh, um, yeah, some water would be nice, actually. The girl bolted away, and soon she came back with, uh, to the table with a pitcher of water and some glasses. She, sa she sat them down and poured a glass for Amarilla. Thank you. The girl left. Amarilla drank the entire glass in one go. She had uh, barely had time to register how much new information there was, or how tired she was. Are you okay? Amarilla hadn't realized Maka had stayed close. A shape? She couldn't finish the word. You, you guys will get time to talk about this. We all need some rest. There's time. Amarilla nodded, and Maka poured her another glass of water and shoved it towards Amarilla. In the background, Amarilla heard David's voice, asking the little elf for books on shapeshifters. The girl answered him that there were barely any recorded information about shapeshifters, and that in this library, Ayal was the leading expert on the matter. Amarilla also heard Maka call for Lunera, but her mind was becoming hazy. I don't know how to reach her anymore. She couldn't respond. I think it's too much. You're right. We all need a rest. Can we help her? A large, warm hand landed on Amarilla's shoulder. It shocked her out of the haze long enough to look, at the, look up at David. Is it David? Ayala's returned. Let's get some rest. With his good arm, he pulled her to her feet, and Lenara came closer and hooked their elbows together. Let's do this together, okay? They all followed Ayala. They had to walk for a while through the city, near the outer edges to a, a nice-looking stone house. Amarilla couldn't remember their full trip to the house. She was missing pieces of conversations around her. I think she needs to sleep first. She may feel uh, better after some good night's rest. Amarilla could see they were speaking with Ayel. She heard some talk about rooms, and soon she was being led through the halls into a room. Lunara grabbed all the blankets of one of the beds and put them on the floor. I remember you don't like sleeping on the bed. She gently led Amarilla to the blankets. Amarilla lay down, and while she was exhausted, she couldn't think of anything. She didn't fall asleep for several hours. The steady rhythm of Lunara and Maka's breathing calmed her down enough to eventually fall asleep. 
As all the elders went to their respective rooms, David and Zerfer walked out into the back garden. I all had to return to the library for another few hours. It's so calm here. I agree. I haven't felt this safe since leaving Ritual. I honestly don't understand what happened, why Baal wants me so badly. Does he know what you are? No, I don't think so. He has made uh, he has made comments that made me believe he doesn't know. They sat on the garden furniture and stayed silent for a moment. I can't believe she's a shapeshifter. I knew it couldn't be a werewolf, but the shapeshifter? I gather it's a rare creature type? Yes, they, they are nearly mythical. Every few years you'll, you'll hear a rumor of shapeshifters, but then they always turn out to be something else. I'm curious. But I think I know we'll be able uh, we'll be able to explain some things. She would uh, we we should wait to ask. Amrilla needs this information too. The surfer nodded. They sat there in comfortable silence for a long time, enjoying the cool air outside until the dark fully set in. Both men retreated to their rooms before Ayel returned to her to her home. It was already light outside when Amarilla woke up. She was alone in her room. Her memory from the day before was cloudy, but she could remember uh, that this was Ayel's house. Slowly, she sat up and looked around. Her backpack was at her feet, and so was her cloak, neatly rolled up. She took a few minutes to wake up more and started getting up. She noticed that Maka and Venera had left their bags at their beds, so she left her stuff as well. Walking through the hallways of this unfamiliar house, she realized how far away her mind had been the day before. Her mind still didn't want to accept that the word shapeshifter applied to her. She moved down the stairs and followed the voices to a large dining area. A little nervous to be amongst so many people, she passed by the room and continued her way to the two large doors that led to the garden. She could hear David's footfalls behind her, and she wasn't surprised when he spoke. Good afternoon. Is it really that late? She turned around to face him, and he nodded. How long did I sleep then? I think it was close to 13 hours. She saw him scratch his beard. Oh, that, that must be why I feel so heavy. She walked up to the chairs on the deck and sat down. New information may also weigh you down. He sat down next to her. I didn't know. I don't know how to make sense of it. I will be back around dinner, so we can ask her questions that you like. And Riva nodded. Will, will you be there? If you want me to be. She nodded again, shyly. Then I will be. Let's get you something to eat. The others have been worried. She got up and followed him inside. As they reached the dining area, David gently put his hand on her back, as if he knew she was about to flee again. She suspected he actually did realize. He seemed to know her better than most people. Walking into the room, she was afraid to have all eyes on her. But most of her friends just continued their conversations. Grodnix was telling Theoden and Lunera an epic tale of a battle he once had, while Maka was explaining her mind powers to Zerfer. Any time any of them looked up at her, they simply gave her a little smile or a nod and continued. It calmed her down. David guided her to an empty chair, and she sat down with him at her side. The table was laden with fr food, fruits, bread, cheese, and several types of beverages. She grabbed a piece of bread and started nibbling on the end. I expect you to eat more than that, she heard Lenora say from across the table. The woman was looking right at Amarilla. Her voice cut right through Grodnik's story, who pulled a face for a moment. David grabbed some fruits from different bowls and put them in front of Amarilla. She will. Don't look at me like that, Lunera grumbled at Grodnix, her voice trailing off. Just continue your story. I want to know how it ends, annoying gnome. Amarilla couldn't contain a small smile at her friend as she continued her lunch. Lunera smiled back widely. Chapter End <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you guys think? <laughs> yeah.
my heart is racing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that More. little line. I love that little line from Luna. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was actually thinking you would laugh again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking. I don't know why. Yes, Jeff Jupiter. Yes. Yes. Dragon Ball was right, goddammit. <laughs> I hate it. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm, I love this. I love this so much. What do you guys think? Come on. Applaud and cheers. Oh, that's really nice. I'll give you your hydrate. I really need to drink something. Good call. That was about three. Thanks, <laughs> Dragon Wolf. I um, <laughs> was reading that while I was taking a sip and almost went back. I went back right into the bar. Whew. Annoying, no. I, th I think you're right, though. Yeah. They're good together. Come on, baby. I can see you. They can't. Let me just let me. He's like looking over, being like, but I'm comfortable. Yes. Meow. Come on. A sticker is too thick for his snacky. <laughs> there you go. Now, so this was doable. <laughs> it works. I also could not hear anything. I assumed you realized. I didn't, but now I do. <laughs> I wasn't really saying anything uh, either, so. And then also, yeah, there you go. Hey, got these treats. What I said was sticker is too thick for his snackies. Yeah. Which was uh, what Dragon Wolf said. He looks at sticker the same way a diffuser looks at a line. <laughs> yes. Is he gonna eat me? Is he gonna explode? <laughs> Filled with caution. The good kind of caution. What? <laughs> Love with caution. Come on, just don't push it back. Face. It's like laying. laying. Yeah. Hello. Hello. He's <laughs> like, I don't want this. I want to lay here because maybe I get more snacks, but I don't want Why this. Why are you doing this to me? Yes. Help. As long as I have treats, you won't hurt me. So yes, I look at him with caution, but I'm I'm fairly safe as long as I have treats. Yes. <sighs> cat. Yes, it's a cat. Hello, welcome. Mo yes. Curios. Mount curious. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome in. Might welcome. I ask how you found us? Or me? Or us? Or <laughs> Very curious. Uh -huh. Greetings, yes. Thank you, Dragon Ball. And Cherry. I have such good friends. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I realize now why you don't wear um, earbuds. <laughs> All my hair is in between my earbud and my ear. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I've had that problem for, uh, I don't remember how many years. Um, Mama? Uh, Mama? Um, can, can, I don't Excuse think you me. meant to. What did you send? Why did you send? 
Copy pasted. I think so. Salem had been with at Silver Veil vale every day since she was a little girl. Yeah, there you Copy go. Copy pasted. Um, only you can, Momo, because you're a mod. None of the other mods can. Remove it. I mean, you, you can try. Uh, Dragon Wolf can try. He's an editor. He might be able to. Well done, Momo. You <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, on your, your phone, you can't delete your own messages. You have to do that on the computer. Oh, well, it's gone now, I guess. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> silly, silly cute, cute girl. You're fine. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Very cute art piece. I can't click it right now because then my OBS messes up with what I'm showing on. Uh, yeah. On browser. Can't delete so. almost messages. Yes, let's all cuddle right. the taco for a moment. Let's cuddle. How are we all? I, uh, you're fine. Thank you. I'm good anyway. I mean, Holy is uh, mending. Yes, I am getting better. How are you? And thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Don't know if you heard my initial question, but I was wondering where you found me as I've posted in quite a few Discord servers. So I'm always curious where people come from. Could also just be through Twitch itself. True. It, it is technically just chatting, but it's also my story. Finally, a full on chef. Nice. Wow, congrats. They said they browsed. I missed a message. I'm sorry. Did you? All right. That was oh, just yeah. after um, almost. Thank you so much for, for coming here. Well, that does explain why I missed it. <laughs> yeah, it was the whole moment. Thing. It's fine. It's fine, Frog. Don't worry about it. Also, Momo, don't, don't, don't you worry about it. It's all good. I still love you. Yeah. Copy pasting is strange. Yeah. Even on PC. Well, on phone, it's actually a little worse because you can uh, save more than one thing. And I know that there's add-ons on your computer to do that, but on your phone, it has an automated um, option for that. There is also on your phone, you can also just copy and paste more things. That's my point. <laughs> Thanks for listening, Holly. That's what I said. On, on PC, sorry. <laughs> and that's your phone? Sorry, Freudian slip. Um, on so PC, on you, can, <laughs> you can copy and paste more things. If you use, instead of Control C, you use Windows key C. Hmm. You open a clipboard. Well, that's. Cortana for some reason. Oh, controls uh, or Windows key V, sorry. Oh, that's fair, Frog. Um, I'm sure you can figure it out though. I, I don't know. Hm. Fair enough. I don't know. If anyone can figure out where it came from, Frog, it's probably you. So, I believe. Yeah. Uh, anyway, just just for a little backstory for Malcurius. Um, hi, welcome. This is my channel. I only um, I'm only going live every third week on Sunday at 3 p.m. Uh, our time, Dutch time. And uh, to tell my story, I am a writer. And I have been writing this story together with uh, Holly, the lovely disembodied voice that you can hear every now and then. Um, he's been helping me. And all of my characters are based on people that you can see here in my chat. Um, they all made their own character. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Wait, what? <laughs> what? What's going on, Frog? <laughs> Don't worry, Momo, it's fine. <laughs> no problem. No streams happen. No stream is complete without a failure on any part. It's fine. <laughs> no stream is complete without scuff. Hmm. I mean this 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 website is called Twitch for a reason. Hmm. It do be a bit twitchy. Exactly. Oh, 
Oh, I do sometimes do baking streams, but um, for a regular schedule, it's definitely only every other or every third Sunday. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> we do um, enjoy these a lot. Uh, so oh, yeah. Right now, we're, uh, we just had chapter 23 and we're about to start chapter 24. I do have everything backlogged on my YouTube, which is also Kiana Dong, just as it's written in screen. Like, thank you. Um, so if you're interested to, <laughs> if you're interested to uh, hear the entire story, feel free to go check that out. Um, I would love for you to stay, but also if you're gonna look back, um, this is gonna be a spoiler. For sure. Yeah, heavy, heavy spoiler alerts. Heavy, if you stay, heavy spoiler also, alerts. Yes. Be welcome to just stay and stick around. Feel free to choose whichever you prefer. Uh, but there are 23 chapters that you uh, haven't heard yet. So I would definitely recommend going back for those if you are interested. Thank you so much, Momo, for the clippy. And also, the thank you for, clippy. for another sippy. For the clippies and the sippies. You know, I just made a mistake. Which was? Grabbing my monster for a froglin sippy. I was gonna do this. Well, yeah, it doesn't really matter. He got he got two technically. There you go. It's a, it's a sippy sippy so. True. <laughs> and now frog is being like, I want it. <laughs> He usually does anyway. That was it. Yes, yes. Hand it over. over. <laughs> Banana milk. <laughs> oh, you can have it. <laughs> I have two more in the fridge. Come get. No, I'll, 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 I'm okay. I'm good. No, for frog. He said hand it yeah. over. There's two more in the fridge. Come get. Also, there's also a Pentiman Rose lemonade for you in the fridge. So you better come over soon. Mm. 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 Also, I really want to make more brownies. And I think at some point seven is going to be uh, huge. So um, I need everyone to just come over to eat my brownies. Thing is, I only get more intrigued there because of them. I'm wondering and theorizing how it got to that point. Red herring meets Chef Chekhov's gun. I don't know what that last bit means, but sure. Sounds good. Brownies? Yes, brownies. Asks the person that lives close so, to So, what he means is like, or what they mean is like, now they're more likely to watch back because how the fuck did you get here? I mean, that's fair. I just don't understand the last reference about red herring I mean, Chekhov's gun. It's just an expression, just like red herring. Oh. Okay. I don't know exactly what it means, but... Fair enough. Um, no, I don't have brownies right now. And yes, I do have cherry cola in the fridge as well. So Momo is also very much welcome to come by. <laughs> so is ah. cherry and dragon ball and apple. I want everyone here. Can you guys just... Here. Please. Soon. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Ooh. Cherry Coke. I also have raspberry cola, which was very interesting to me and delicious, by the way. Mm. Soon, please. Yes, yes, yes. I'll bring the jack. What do you mean? I have a whole cabinet right there. <laughs> you do realize. What do you mean? More live, jack. You do realize I live with seven, right? <laughs> He also loves you live, with, you live with a Viking, but also... I'll bring more. <laughs> I'll bring mucus melon. Oh, no, please, no. No, no, Not no, the no. mucus melon. Dragon Wolf, not me. Definitely not me. I don't drink. Or barely. I drink about as much as Holy does, which is not a lot. Nope. Also, that is not a word. It's alcoholic, not alcoholist. Nah, that's fine. Alcoholist is judge. So, no, it's not a word. Yes, if we're going Dutch, we're going to vomit, or no? The, the normal melon is very much welcome, yes, yes. The normal melon is all right. Can we stop calling me out now? What do you mean? I meant seven. Yeah. Sober for two it's weeks. Sober for two weeks. 
Oh. I actually had a drink yesterday. Oh my God, it's a miracle. Oh my God. That was the You're first. You're an alcoholic. Thing. That was the first. <laughs> in like um, about four months. I've had like two beers at a company party Friday. It's term in literature. It means that everything in a narrative needs to have a reason to exist. For That's example, uh, if you put a gun on a wall in chapter one, by chapter three, someone needs to be shot or the gun doesn't need to be there. I mean, huh. I, won't, I won't agree with the chapter three thing because there's definitely things that... No, but it's like in the future. In, but it has to be It's there. a future thing. Oh, yeah, it's a part. Yes. Can we do I do want to have a pizza party again, but... Pizza parties like we used to go to don't, don't exist anymore. We make In a fact, pizza they don't they don't own the place anymore. We can make a pizza party. We can make the pizzas. Yeah, but Frog? the difference the difference between these pizza parties and the pizza parties Frog and I went to is that you don't have like thirty people talking about three D printers. Hmm. I'm sure we can figure something out. Make it our own. Yeah. We'll do it better. Yes. I mean, I'm sure that some people li still like to talk about 3D printers. Don't worry. I'm in. <laughs> still need to fix mine, goddammit. Yep. But I first need to place them. I was going to say move them first. It's going to be easier. I think. Yeah. Flamily pizza party. Yes. Yes, please. Yeah. Also, Shall we continue with the next chapter? Because I do love being here until five, but also we need to do. I mean, people want to know, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, please. Okay, we maybe should. We maybe should. <laughs> I'll make. Hey, we're curious. Make the dough. Hell yeah. We all can make everything together. We love making stuff. Also, Frog. Four we still or need five families. Frog, we still need to make the nuggies on stream together. Hell yeah. Yes. All right. Order? What do you mean order? No, you make. Make is good. Let's continue. <laughs> is everybody ready? I think they are. I think I think they are. I just like seeing the yeah, come on, <laughs> do it. In chat, I just love to see that. Always. <laughs> Always. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, a cheesecake. Mm. Do it. Do it. Let's go. Story team. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Chapter 24. For most of the day, the group took all their time to rest. Some went to look around town. Others spent the day around the house. Amarilla and Lunera... Um, Amarilla let... Lunera and Maca drive her through the house, moving from room to room, sitting in a home library, then in the garden, and when the, uh, when the sun hit, hit it just right, <clears throat> they pulled her into the dining room when, di when dinner was served. As they entered from one side of the room, I all walked into the other. Hey, Marilla, I'm glad you're up. Are you feeling better? I'm, I'm mostly confused. Slowly, the others filtered in, into the room as well. They all sat down around the table. I all pulled Ma uh, Amarilla away from Lunara and Maka and sat her down. What do you want to know? She motioned for everyone to start on dinner. David, who was sitting on Amarilla's other side, didn't just fill his own plate. He also put, uh, put some things on hers. He must have been reading her mind again because she wasn't hungry at all. And he knew that if he put food in front of her, she would eat it. How, how do you know I'm like my grandmother? She was still unable to say the word. You both smell the same. You know, creatures have a smell. I always knew. I all put some vegetables on her plate. You never told me. Your grandmother told me she wanted to tell you. She was going to explain it all a year or two before you changed for the first time. How, how would she know when? Most shapeshifters appear to change for the first time around age 25. My, my grandmother passed away when I was 18. Amarilla could feel her hands shaking. 
Only a year after I left? It makes sense that you know so little, then. I wish I could have been there for you. Your grandmother was always very secretive about it. I wish she told you sooner. Amarillo's hands relaxed after a while. She grabbed her fork and slowly started eating some of the chicken that had put on there for her. She saw the slight smile he formed when she started eating, even though he tried to hide it. The silence fell as Amarillo was trying to wrap her he head around the new information. Can you elaborate on how her powers work? What can she do? The easy explanation is that she can become anything. She was clearly trying to think of how to explain it more. Is that why she can partially change instead of going straight into Wolf? Ion nodded. She should be able to change uh, only parts of her body or everything at once. Any animal? Anything. She can't. I am a wolf. David put a hand on her shoulder, but he didn't say anything as the conversation continued. He says she can fly, but clearly she has never had any experience to do so. What would happen if she changed into a bird? I'm not completely sure how it all works. I only know what I've been told. She should get some instincts of the creature she turns into, heightened senses usually. I don't know if she'd be able to fly. Can she train herself to become more, uh, become of uh, these other creatures? It should come naturally, but her upbringing was different, so I don't know. Amarilla was having more trouble concentrating on the conversation. So many questions were being asked and she didn't like being the center of attention. It almost felt like they weren't really talking about her. David's hand left her shoulder and suddenly he tapped her hand hand with a glass of water. She took it carefully. Drink something. He looked down at her with a kind and open smile. If I had known, I would have come back. I all suddenly focused on Amarilla again. I... How did your parents take it when you changed? They... They sent a hunter after me. To kill me. Ayal's hand shot up to cover her mouth. She was shocked. And the room became quiet. After dinner, the group sl split up into little groups. They hadn't had this much rest time in a while. Grodnix, Zerfer, and David went into the backyard. As they all walked out, Amarilla heard Zerfer offering them to teach them how to use the blades he fought with. Lonero was teaching Maka a sewing technique on the other side of the room, and Ayal was standing with them, watching the process. Amarilla was sitting on the couch, staring into the distance. The cushion beside her got dented, and slowly she looked around. I know we really don't like each other, but I know how it can feel to have so much attention on you. Whenever it gets too much, it's okay to take a moment to breathe. Amarilla nodded. Mm, it's a lot. Take it one day at a time. I'm gonna join the others in the, in the garden. Amarilla took a few sips from her glass and got up too. For the first time in weeks, she didn't have to hurry. Slowly, she walked towards their bedroom and sat down next to her backpack. She went through her few belongings and ended up uh, grabbing the necklace she had been carrying forever. It was Ayal's necklace. She moved to the window, holding the necklace in her hands. She saw Zerfer showing a complicated move, almost like he was dancing with his blades. He handed the knife to Davi. He performed the first part of the move, albeit clumsily, but then he tripped. The window was slightly open and their voices drifted up to her. A small chuckle arose from Zerfer and Grodnitz, and an outburst of laughter came from Theoden walking into the garden. Well, even for a first time, that was sloppy. Hmm? Oh, come on, Discord. I cannot read that. <laughs> Discord is having a moment and I literally cannot read that line. We seem to have no problem on the outside. Hold on. Mm -hmm. It happens, don't worry. You're probably more used to a big weapon, huh? As compared to, uh, as compared to small blades like these? Yes, but I've preferred my fist. Grodnik looked up at the window and Marilla was standing in and he showed a big, toothy grin. Amarilla waved down at them, uh, 
as the others also looked up. David showed a little smile as he looked away, his face becoming more flush. As she turned away from the window, Gromnix's voice drifted, drifted up to her. I can teach you how to use buskers, if you want, that is. Still holding on to the necklace, Amarilla walked through the house. Maka and Lunera were still enjoying each other's company in the sitting room. Amarilla could also hear the guys having fun outside through the open door. Eventually, she found Ayel in her own private library. Softly knocking on the open door, she stepped inside. Come in, please. Amarilla stepped into the room and saw a mini version of the Royal Library. How Ayel had crammed so many books in such a small room was a mystery to her. Two comfortable chairs were sat in the middle of the room, with a little table in between to put a drink on. Ayel was curled up in one of those chairs, reading. As Amarilla entered, Ayel closed her book. I was hoping you'd find me. I didn't want to push you too much. I, I was looking for you, to, to give you the necklace. But that necklace was never mine. It's your grandmother's. I gave it for you to keep. Why wouldn't she give it to me herself? She was still around then. Amarilla sat down on the edge of, another, uh, of the other chair. She had given it to me, but I wanted you to have it. I don't understand. I knew I wouldn't see you for a while. I don't leave this place often. I wanted you to have something to remember me by. How, how can I forget about you? You were my best friend for five years. I would have understood if you forgot about me, though. How could I? You made those years so vibrant. Anyways, it's yours. Forever. So thank you. For the first time in years, Amarilla moved to put it on. Oh, let me. Ayel got up from her seat and took the necklace off Amarilla's hands. She shifted in the seat so Ayel could reach. She gently pr brushed Amarilla's hair to the side and put the necklace on. Amarilla could feel one gentle touch on her shoulder before Ayel pulled all her hair back and started to braid it. I haven't had a braid behind my head since the last time you braided it. She chuckled softly. You still haven't learned to do it by yourself? I braid it to the side often, though. It always looks so lovely on you. She ended the braid with a tie. As Amarilla turned back to her friend, she noticed Ayel yawning. I worked all day. I should get some rest. I'm free tomorrow. Can we talk then? I, I would like that. As Amarilla got up to leave, Ayel embraced her, taking Amarilla off guard a little. Normally, she was the one showing that kind of affection. Oh, I can't believe I haven't seen you for 12 years. Time moves so differently for us. I hope you have a good night. You too. They left the library together and went their separate ways to their bedrooms. There we go. Smiley wolf. Smiley wolf. <laughs> Glad to see you're intrigued. Also, as a fan of Bonds, okay. you could call me Mel Curious. <laughs> That's a really good one. Nice. I agree. Demand. Demand, I Mr. Grimble? Demand more chapters. Well. Tough. Shit out of luck. We cannot give you any more. Literally. Yep. I'm going to have to work on it again. Yep. I'm sorry, so guys, demands. there is no more. <laughs> so many demands, we don't have more. We're out of stock. <laughs> Last time I checked, Dragon Wolf, you are not a mistress. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this time it wasn't a, a cliffhanger, though. Yeah, not, this time not. it was just... Not the way it was the last few times. Unacceptable! <laughs> I mean, holy, I don't think you're safe anymore. Thank you for the follow! <laughs> hey! Holy, I don't think you're safe. I think you're gonna have to run. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I... I don't feel safe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Apple, that means you better give him a good hug. <laughs> I, I can I can feel judging eyes from through uh, through two walls. 
I mean, yeah, you can demand all you want, but I I can't deliver right now. <laughs> yep. I did see Frog's comments like, yeah, okay, start writing. Got the stream, start writing. See you in two hours. I wish, uh, I wish I could. You guys are gonna have to wait. I'm sorry. Yep. So we cut the stream. We start writing. We'll see you in two, three weeks. Yeah. How about that? There you go. Three weeks. Yep. Oh, I like that one. That's cute. A lurk. <laughs> Just lurking, waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Frog. Bonk. <laughs> Check all the grease. <laughs> Intriguingly written and both of your voice acting was smooth. Thank you so much. Thank you. Compliment. Need to make sure there's a good butt scratch happening. What? <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's going to be three weeks. Such talented friends. Yes, and you were one of them, Cherry. We have a, a make sticker. You, uh, you have a make sticker thick already. Let's see if he will come over. He's back in his box and he's looking annoyed. Hey, not Lou. What do you mean? I, just... I won't hear you. That's fine. I'll just talk to chat. Yeah. Chat talks to yeah, me. You're talking to people. Well, Momo, I have told you everything I have. We do literally don't have more. He's like, do you really have to wake me up every time for this shit? I mean, you yes. want the candies though. Um, nom, 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 nom. So now you know everything that we know. <laughs> Lies. There well, is kind of. There kind is, of the truth, actually. It's sort of the truth. There's um, half a chapter written that I don't think you've read yet. I've read parts of it. Yeah, the beginning, I think, as well. The, I yeah, I'm glad that. my voice is back mostly. I still have some coughs. I still have some... Uh, a little bit of a runny nose, but most of it is gone. Most of it is good. So he's touching the banana milk. Don't let him. He'll become addicted. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Thank you, Vix. Thank you, banana. Okay, dare I ask? And. No is a valid answer. Also, if you don't feel well enough, I'm not going to hold you to it. But do you think you might be going back to streaming on it? I don't know yet, sure. but I really want to. I know. You've wanted to since Thursday. <laughs> I've wanted to since I got sick. Mm, that's fair. So not last Thursday, but the week before that Thursday. That's fair. Yes, kitty go me He's being uh, a little shit. <laughs> also, Frog, for the first time ever, the, the, the it's actually filled with Haribo. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I was taking care of myself, Cherry. Definitely. That's why he hasn't been streaming. I've been off streaming for a week and a half now. And it feels horrible. I wish, Frog, I wish. Yeah. Roll the ads! <laughs> I mean, see, I think it's better in this case to just be better first. Completely. That's yeah. why he went on hiatus. I just figured I'd ask, because we all want you back. We miss. Yeah. But I know you miss us too. So, fair enough. Being sick feels worse than not streaming. 
No, the other way around. Other way Not around. streaming feels worse than being sick. Say, you said this to me before. I was like, this is wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the other way around. Being off stream feels worse than being sick. That's fair, PC. Yeah. Uh, when he gets back, he'll be back completely. I'm sure. Exactly. I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't, I literally can't say anything about it because I expect it to be back in at least in like at most two days, but yeah. uh, one and a half a week later, we're still here, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, this went well. So, yeah. I've only heard this one well. twice. Yeah, which was at the start, not during yeah. story at all. So I'm happy. It's going well. I mean, last night I had a moment where I literally just could not breathe in without coughing. So that was nice. Yeah. Fair. <coughs> Talking about coughing. Yep. Make sure you drink more tea with honey. Yeah. Un until the honey, like, it's too much for you. <laughs> Just keep going. Frog? Frog. There you go. It's black. <laughs> All right. Let's see this as a hug. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Weirdo. Yes, I miss his butt too. In my couch. All of you. All of you. I need all of you here on my couch. Soon. Love oh, yeah. Oh, curious. I haven't been sick in two years. So I guess this is like time to make up for lost yeah. time. Here you go. Here's two weeks of sick. He's going back in. He's looking for another treat. And if he can't find it, he's probably going to go back in. There he goes. <laughs> Adorable. Yeah, I I think Frog is a little ill. He's he's been wanting movies. Only further evidence that we share a brain cell. I very much want to. Let's let's try and get that together over WhatsApp, not in my stream. Or Discord, whichever. Yeah. But, like, let's make that happen, but not on my stream. Yeah. I will keep proposing them, and I am accepting. But that's still, like, a new thing, though, Frog. Can't blame yeah, her for I'm, being worried. I'm starting to actually propose movie nights as well. And wow. so we're, 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 we're going, going the right way. You guys are evolving. Oh, my God. Yeah. Soapstone carving. You found hobby. Sick. Cool. That's cool. Also, thank you for sticking around. I like it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Evolving boys. Yes, yes. It does <laughs> sound cool. Actually, if anyone would like that, that's Apple there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, if someone can please type in uh, exclamation point dungeon. Feel free to post any uh, of your creations in the museum in the Poison Dark Dungeon. Because yeah. we all are all in there and we love to see any of your creations. Thank you, Cherry. There we go. Now, I do technically have my own Discord, but I, rec I very much recommend just going to the dungeon because, I mean, it's the best place ever. I love it there. I'm there, all time. Yeah. At all times. <laughs> I wish I could be there more, but damn it. Yeah. I mean, you're still there. You're just not oh, yeah. active, but you're there. If, if yeah. people need to reach you, they can definitely send you a message to me. Yes. Make myself a little charm in the shape of Thor's hammer already. Hey, Mjolnir, nice. Mjolnir. Mjolnir. I have a, I have a necklace, uh, but an, an iron one. It's really cool. <laughs> nice. No crafts, wife. Thank you, Terry. Terry's being cute. Sick. 
So, so what do you guys think of uh, of chapter twenty three and twenty four? Except demanding more. Except demanding more. Yeah, please don't do that again. I'll feel guilty. <laughs> You have my attention, crafting and meow meow. <laughs> nice. Good. Apple, I will be sending you a message afterwards. You know it. Cherry, maybe in the future. I mean, if I finish it, I could definitely publish it. Uh huh. I mean, you won't have to read it. It'll be on YouTube. You can still listen to it again. Yep. It is technically an audiobook, audiobook form now. Yes. We did it backwards. Even though, we started even though it's a little bit of a strange audiobook. I don't know. There's still audiobooks that do voiceovers. Yeah. Although but not with it's... sections of stream in between and True. sections of talking to chat. I could edit them all. To have just the stories. True. If I wanted to. Thank you. But yeah, no, I I like the, the fact that we just do this first. Yeah. Oh, you guys will still ha get to see a, a second, a Viking walking past. Hubby's home. Ah. Or I have to cut it short right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, history. he's home. Bye. <laughs> Grodnik's offering to teach someone to use buskers is a sign of big friendships. I mean, I never said it was going to be buskers, though. Oh, yeah, he offered. No, he offered to use a big weapon, right? No, no, no. Did I read it wrong? I might have read it wrong. He said, uh, I can teach you how to, how to use buskers. If you want, that is. That is That's Grodnik's right. line. It's fair. It's fair. It's fair. See, I forgot my own stuff. Hello, hubby. I'm yeah. still screaming. Cut the stream. Oh, no. Cut the stream. <laughs> ah. There's a husband. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, he was also carrying a lot of stuff that you could just not see. Yeah. Some cars <laughs> and bags and all things. You're getting compliments. They say you look cool. Looking cool, Joker. Oh, and Momo says I have to cuddle you. Huh? Momo yep. says you, I have to cuddle you. Frog then redeems if I can cuddle. A short cuddle. Yay. There you go. <laughs> Before you cut the stream, thank you so much for an awesome stream. Thank you so much for that. Thank you guys so much for being here. Because without you guys, it's not much of a stream. Truth. I say that on my streams as well. It's just most of what makes a stream is chat. Yes. Although Otherwise, you could just be making videos for YouTube and that's. <laughs> Emptiness talking into nothing. <laughs> Although technically, in this case, um, we could definitely do the chapters without chat because I don't look at chat. As I'm well, during during uh, during the chapters, no, just yeah, yeah, just in the in betweens. So let's say that much. Which is also why chat was silent during the chapter. Exactly. Always is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Cherry, all of you make me smile. Every single one of you. I'm glad everyone enjoys. I will be checking the Discord soon for pictures. Ooh, um, actually, yeah, let me... And take a look because that sounds intriguing. Oh, that is sick! It's yeah, that is really cool. Can do it now. Okay. So now there's things in the museum. Museum. Oh, yeah. that is definitely really cool. 
That is awesome. Oh, I like your name, Cedric. I like it. Yeah, that's an awesome name as well. well if you want people to realize it's you, you might want to make a nickname with um, Malcurius between brackets. But yeah. you don't have to. But I mean, just so you know. There are people that have different names on Twitch as well. Twitch and Discord doesn't really necessarily have the same names. I think you both are saying the same thing, and I'm ta talking to two people at once. But um, I didn't say he has to change his name. I said he could make a nickname. <laughs> Stop it, you want a blush. <laughs> it's very nice. Well done. Yeah, absolutely. Also, like that already half of our chat has already added. Like answered it in there as well. It's like hearts flying around. Yeah. And your uh, hype. Yeah. I like it. Hype. Anyways, I am going to end the stream for today. I am very, very happy that everyone was able to be here. This was a lot of fun. And uh, thank you so have... much for listening. Yes, and we're gonna have to. Uh, Start writing again, Holly. Yep. I like it. I like doing that. It's one of my favorites. Good. So let's see if there's anyone streaming. Let's see if we can rate someone. I have no one. I do. No one alive. I have actually someone that um, got me into streaming. Hmm. So, um,. Let's read her. She's playing Sea of Thieves, and it is Satine Plays. It's been a long time since I've seen her stream, so I think it's going to be fun to, uh, yeah. Uh, yes. to, uh, to, to go to her. There we go. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here. Holy, thank you so much for doing this with me. I love doing this. Thank you so much for having me as well. Every time. <laughs> Once again. I wouldn't do this without you. I mean, you could, but... I really wouldn't. I wouldn't like it if you would, if you, uh, <laughs> if you did. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I had a ton of fun. And um, let's say hi to Satine. I don't have a raid message. Just say hi or say something nice. Uh, Get on a raid. Let's raid. Bye-bye. Bye. Holy. Bye-bye. <laughs>